Both of us are concerned about recent events in West Asia, which some call Middle East. We emphasized the importance of preventing further escalation of violence and hostilities. India has a long-standing and uncompromising position against terrorism in all its forms and manifestations. The deeply concerning situation in Gaza was naturally a subject of our discussions. There is a visible humanitarian crisis that needs to be addressed, and the creation of sustainable humanitarian corridors is the need of the day. I stressed on the need for all parties to avoid provocative and escalatory actions and to facilitate movement towards dialogue and diplomacy. We also exchanged perspectives and assessments on certain regional and global issues and developments. Both of us are concerned about recent events in West Asia, which some call Middle East, and we emphasized the importance of preventing further escalation of violence and hostilities. We will be continuing further discussions over lunch. As you all know, India has a long-standing and uncompromising position against terrorism in all its forms and manifestations. This remains. This remains so, very much so. At the same time, we strongly believe that it is imperative to avoid loss of civilian life in any conflict situation. The deeply concerning situation in Gaza was naturally a subject of our discussions. The loss of civilian lives, especially that of women and children, was our primary focus. There is a visible humanitarian crisis that needs to be addressed, and the creation of sustainable humanitarian corridors is the need of the day. We welcome the international community's efforts in that direction. India itself has delivered shipments of relief material to Gaza and contributed to the UNRWA. On the issue of Palestine, let me reiterate India's long-standing support for a two-state solution where the Palestinian people are able to live freely in an independent country within secure borders. I stressed on the need for all parties to avoid provocative and escalatory actions and to facilitate movement towards dialogue and diplomacy.